program is investigating the relationship between cardiovascular disease and depression. And there is very strong epidemiological evidence linking the two diseases. A patient with cardiovascular disease uh, has uh, three times uh, more likelihood of developing depression. And someone with depression is much more likely to develop cardiovascular disease. So it's a bidirectional relationship. In Toetion, what we are investigating is this relationship, the causality of this phenomenon, the mechanisms involved, and also how one disease can affect the other. So this complex interrelationship of the two diseases. So in Toetion, we are looking at uh, the inflammatory uh, component of these two diseases, the importance of inflammation in comorbid disease development, which means a development of both diseases in the same patient. This program can have major impact to human health. First of all, it uh, deals with two very frequent diseases, devastating diseases that cost a fortune to the healthcare system, most importantly cost a fortune to the life of people. We're hoping that this program will significantly contribute to our current understanding, to the disease uh, trajectories, interactions, how one disease influences the other, whether they develop, whether they co-develop, whether they develop in isolation, and so on. And uh, very importantly, how treatments that are given to one disease can affect the, the incidence or well-being or severity of the other. And these are issues that have not been addressed. My main field of research in the Toetion is to perform the harmonization of the different uh, cohorts in the project, but also to analyze them using uh, advanced and uh, machine learning based uh, uh, techniques and algorithms in order to develop at the final step a cloud platform which will integrate predictive model for the accurate and better risk stratification of the patient with uh, depression and cardiovascular disease. Toetion deals with a lot of data data which are coming from different cohorts, from different parts. One of the challenges uh, so is to harmonize all this data in order to analyze them as a unified cohort. And this is a very difficult thing and we aim to create at the end perfect and clear data set. Firstly, I think um, we would like to check if there is a the link between depression and cardiovascular problems and if uh, our immune system, well, uh, responsiveness of this immune system um, uh, has some, some, some point, is important in this uh, association. I am devoted to um, elderly patients and we um, investigate cognitive uh, problems but also depression in elderly patients. We've got such cohorts of patients uh, with these uh, problems and also comorbidities, uh, so patients with cognitive uh, impairment, depression and coronary artery um, disease. My name is Sven Kalamers, I work at the psychiatry department at the VU Medical Center in Amsterdam. Uh, and our contribution, not just from me but also from my colleagues, Brenda Pennings and Yuri Milaneski, is that we're contributing NESTA data, that's the Netherlands study of depression and anxiety which has lots of um, depression data, but also omics, uh, various layers of omics and information on uh, somatic disease, which we can use um, to uh, investigate some of the research questions of this project. I think if we understand better why people get both depression and cardiovascular disease, uh, we can um, probably monitor them better once they have one or the other, so that we can possibly prevent onset, um, that we can look at, maybe if we know something more about the pathways, uh, look at better treatments for them, like uh, anti-inflammatory medication, for instance, as add-on uh, in depressed patients. And so in the end, to, to better uh, health for the European uh, population. It seems that uh, comorbidity and multimorbidity is uh, really a prevalent uh, problem in the, uh, human society. And um, it is only recently that we're trying to understand that this is really uh, something that we have to investigate, that we cannot just look at single diseases or single uh, genetic mutations, for instance, uh, in isolation. We really have to look at these uh, interactions among the disease outcomes and the biological mechanisms. The fact that 
biological mechanisms do not have a single purpose but are shared among different pathways is, I think, uh, to us clear. And uh, now is the time, I think, to uh, exploit these uh, insights and uh, bring the uh, human medicine forward. I study how the immune system affects the brain and how mental processes that emanate from the brain affect the immune system. And that is uh, one of the core aspects of this project. I expect to improve existing treatments, uh, both for cardiovascular disease and certainly for depression. There have not been any major advances in treatment and curing for the past 20 years. Existing uh, treatments are suboptimal and uh, so we hope that we find new ways of uh, helping a large group of patients. Approximately 40, 50 percent of the population dies of cardiovascular disease. If we can reduce that a little bit, that would be great. Depression is the major cause of suffering for a large part of the population. If we can reduce that, that will be a major uh, achievement.